Alright you guys, as you can tell by the title of this video, I'm filming a thrift haul and I guess we can talk about the elephant in the room. I'm puppy sitting for a couple hours today. It's just Luna. She's perfect. She's like a little doll. She just kind of sits here. Jeez. Oh, she's so sleepy. I forgot how sleepy puppies are. I'm gonna try to set her down and see if she'll like nap. Um. Guys, I can't. I'm so distracted. But I'm gonna film this video. I wish I could hold her like this the whole time, but how will I show you the things? Alright, like this video if you like Luna. She's perfect. She's literally perfect. Alright, little girl. She's only like, I think, nine weeks old. So she's fresh. She's fresh. I'm gonna attempt to put her down. And then we have, I have a lot of things. I, I, this is from two different thrift trips. I was away this past weekend for a bookcation. If you saw that on my Instagram, that was super fun. Some friends and I, we rented an Airbnb about like two and a half hours from where we live. And it's in like a little beach town. So it was like pretty dead, but it was a little cabin by the lake. And we like literally the only purpose of it was to go and read. So we got out of the house. We did, we stopped at a thrift store too on the way up to the cabin. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is so distracting. <laughs> I just want to talk through this stuff before I start showing you. We stopped at the thrift store on our way up to the cabin and then on Saturday we'd been like reading all day and we wanted to get out and like get a coffee and they, we noticed a little thrift store in town so we stopped there. So I have clothing and things for myself. I have some kids and baby clothes because not pregnant but I still if I come across baby clothes that I don't think I'm gonna find again or are like a s insanely good deal, I like to get them. And then lots of books, because obviously books were on the brain. I have a couple kids things that I had gotten in a previous haul. So I'm gonna put this little lady down. And that, <laughs> sorry, I keep looking at her in the viewfinder and it's just, how do I put you down? You're just so cozy, little love. You're so cozy. Okay, I'm gonna try to put her on the couch and see what happens. Let's get into a haul. Okay. She just wants to explore. It's weird. She's like wide awake the second I put her down. So we're gonna see if she settles and lays on my lap and falls asleep for a little bit. Let's start with the clothes for me. So the first thing I got, wow, it's like the same color as my sweater today. But it's this gorgeous wool oversized blazer. It fits so well. And it's just like such a warm brown color that I could not pass it up. So that was first thing I got. Next, these are from all different places. They're not separated by where I got them. This is a little towel that I found. We went to, we stopped at a bins on our way up to the cabin and we were staying in a little red A-frame a cabin and then I found this little kitchen towel and I thought it was the sweetest, sweetest little thing. And we have an idea for it. We kind of want to, whoa, not your toy. We kind of want to embroider it with like the location of where we stay every year because we want to go somewhere different every year because this is, we had so much fun this first year that we're going to do it multiple times. So I think that's just a fun little towel. Next, I got this fun little at the little thrift store that we found in town. So it's missing a chain, obviously, but I thought the color of it was just so beautiful that I had to have it and I could add a chain to it if I wanted it to be a bag. I thought it'd be fun to like wear almost like fanny pack style over the chest. And then you're gonna fall, little lady. But I thought it also might be nice like if I'm <sighs> to use as a pouch for like my planner and pens if I'm like going somewhere. I don't know, sometimes it's nice to like have all those things together or even like storing them at home so that I can like go between my office and upstairs in my house easily. So that was two bucks. I just really liked the green color. Then one of the Goodwills we stopped at had was like an overstock, a Target overstock Goodwill. So I got this gorgeous universal thread 
oversized red it has like little balls on it do you see that texture like bubbles almost um, it's super soft and oversized love that and then we hit the pajama jackpot so this is from stars above it's a mint green linen oversized i have a lot of like christmas pajamas but i don't have a lot of like short summery sets um, i don't really wear sets in the summer so i kind of wanted some so i found this little like gauzy linen mint green it's kind of like a cross between mint green and just, like sky blue so i got that one and then these two are the same thing i don't think they're new let's see no they're not new luna thinks they're a toy but they're just like two silky tops oversized floral so that one's like a cream with some blush flowers and then this one is the same thing but it's like a deep emerald thought that was cute and then i found these white stars above gauzy pajama shorts that are like the same fabric as that blue top but obviously a different color but i like that they were white because i could wear them with honestly any three of those tops and they'll be cute the last big thing i have here is again from universal thread it still has the tags on it i got it for like four bucks it's this light blue linen boxy t-shirt i just thought it would be um not really cute like buttoned up and like tucked into a skirt or something in the summer but i thought it would also be really cute to wear as almost like a like a short jacket in the summer like if you want something at night or something i don't know i just thought it was really cute and so i got all those things now let's talk baby clothes okay i need that arm my sweetheart she just wants i saved my favorite item for last so at the bins we found actually i didn't find it margaret found it but it's this like it looks almost brand new it looks like it's never been used that classic ralph lauren um <laughs> whoa mama you're gonna fall you go fall you can't go like that okay we're gonna take a nap after this just let me film this video okay I know, and then we're gonna take a nap. Okay? We'll take a nap after. And by that I mean she'll nap in my lap and I'll edit this video. Does it sound good? Does it sound good, little puppy girl? Okay, so you know the classic Ralph Lauren teddy bear that's on a lot of their kids' clothes? That's what that is. So it's just like a little receiving blanket. These two I got at a previous thrift. This is a like I mean it feels like it's vintage but I don't know if it is it just feels like it's older like it's been worn a bunch because it's nice and I don't know if that's gonna come up because I'm in front of a bright window it might be blown out but there's little pastel hot air balloons on this it's just a little sleeper and then this one is so funny they're little raccoons little orange raccoons onesie long sleeve onesie this is one from H&M that I just couldn't pass up because it was just a good basic do you want me to put you down there we go it's just a green and white long sleeve onesie she's watching herself in the mirror she's so scared of herself it's so cute this is a cute little diagonal situation that i like i'm never gonna find it again so i had to get it it's a hungry hungry caterpillar and it says he ate through four strawberries and there's little strawberries with holes on them just like the book and it's like light pink and dark pink striped had to get it and then the absolute best thing that i got i like almost didn't get this and then everyone was like you have to get it like you're never gonna come across that again and it's so weird and like i just want my kid to have it so it's a universal studios et jean jacket like can you even it's an extra small so like it's gonna be a long time before a child fits into that but it would like i'm never gonna find that again so I had to get it. Okay, these I can hold you for. These I can hold you for. I also got a lot of books. Are you excited? Do you love books? Sure, I love honey scratches. Okay, so the books I got this weekend at the thrift store. Zadie Smith, Swing Time, I read on Beauty. And it wasn't even one of my favorite books, but I just, I mean, I'm always hearing such wonderful things about Zadie Smith. And so I just wanna read more of her stuff. So this is Swing Time excited to read that one this one my friend margaret found for me because she likes the author and she thought i might enjoy it so it's called very valentine very fitting for 
Oh, it's Adriana Trigiani. She thought I might like that for um, Valentine's Day. This one I was reading the back of the book and it just looked really interesting. It's by Jennifer Haig, The Condition. I've actually never read, I've never read one. I really haven't read any Ellen Hildebrand, but I know she's really popular. So I found The Identicals. I don't know, sounds pretty good. I love World War II historical fiction and my friend found this and said, this feels like you might like it. News of Our Loved Ones by Abigail DeWitt. And then Love Me Some Toni Morrison. I have three of her books, like the classics. Oh my God, I already own Song of Solomon. Well, I have a second copy of Song of Solomon. <laughs> I didn't realize I have a trio set of the bluest eye beloved Song of Solomon. I didn't think that Song of Solomon was the third book in that trio. It's the only one I haven't read in the trio, but now I have another copy of Song of Solomon. This is what happens when you have a lot of books, you know? Sometimes you lose track of what you own. Go me. Then yesterday, this is separate, this is not from the thrift store, but it's from the used bookstore. So Mikey and I like to go work at our local Schuler's, which is a new and used bookstore. And the book I'm about to show you, I finished this weekend on our bookcation and I loved it so much that I was like, I have to go home and buy a copy for myself because I was reading a library copy. And it was like one of those times when I wish I could have like highlighted and written in it because I just really wanted it to be my copy. And so I went into Schuler's yesterday and I was like, I'm gonna explore. I'm just gonna see if they have it. And I bought it, I picked it up new because I was like, they're probably not gonna have it used. Like I almost didn't even check. And then I went into the used section and they had the $30 hard copy copy for $11, which was way cheaper than the paperback $20 one that I was gonna buy. Anyways, so Cloud Cuckoo Land by Anthony Doerr, both of his books that I've read are phenomenal. He's really famous for All the Light We Cannot See, but read that one and loved it years ago when it came out, but then finally read Cloud Cuckoo Land, and now I own my own copy, which is amazing. But then I also looked around the used section for some other things. I've never read any Leanne Moriarty. Just kidding, that's not true, because I forgot she wrote Big Little Lies. Read Big Little Lies and watched the TV show, but I haven't read What Else Forgot, and one of my friends who was on the bookcation with, she just read that one and really liked it. So I saw that and I got it. Maggie O'Farrell is an author that I'm slowly reading all of her books because I've just loved every single book that she has written. The one she's probably most famous for is Hamnet. And then also, which I own back there. And then also, um, I'm reading Marriage Portrait right now, actually. That's one of her newer ones that came after. After all of her praise for Hamnet, she released the marriage portrait and that one got a lot of good buzz too so I'm currently reading that one on my kindle but whenever i see a maggie o'farrell book used i try to pick it up so this is the vanishing act of esme lennox and it sounds really good it's a shorter one and the last book in here is actually new it's the only thing in this haul that's new but it is by anthony Dore, who did all the light we cannot see and cloud cuckoo land and this is the first book he ever wrote it's called about grace and I figured it's his debut novel. I mean, I looked up and there was a lot of great buzz on it, but I hadn't heard anything about it before then. So I figured since I loved his two other books so much, he's probably an author that I should look up because I really, I, I like, I loved both of his other books and they're about completely different topics. So I'm interested to see what this one is about, what that's gonna be like, but I got that one new because I wanted it. So yeah, that is my haul, my thrift haul lots of good items i'm really excited i if you want a library tour let me know we're kind of in the process of i just painted it this past december i painted it right before we got our christmas no i finished painting it while our christmas tree was here so i actually we once we put our christmas tree or took it down um it was a real one so once we threw it out actually it gets recycled in our city but anyways once it left and we moved everything back to normal de-Christmased our house. We've brought another shelf out because we've filled this up and our other bookshelf up. So um, once we get things like resorted and organized again, because we've shifted some stuff around, I will do a library tour because I think that might be fun to see just like 
how we organize stuff maybe and how we have it set up because I'm obsessed with our library and I love it. Our bar is behind here. That's all the glassware and stuff that you see behind me there. But Luna and I, can you hear her breathing? She's such a sleepy girl. I'm going to uh, go move us to the couch and we're going to edit for the rest of the day. This in a previous video. And we'll see you next time. She's really passed out. She's perfect. She's just a sheepy girl. I'll see you next time. I hope you have a wonderful day. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new here. Like the video if you like seeing content like this. I try to share thrift hauls, you know, every couple months when I have a collection. They're kind of collective thrift hauls. So I can just show you guys what I'm finding and what I'm bringing into my home, but have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye. I mean, look at her. She's so tired. It's so tiring being this cute, huh? Huh, it's so tiring. Okay, bye.